Hey guys, I'm your pharmacist Sidra and welcome to my channel Ask Your Pharmacist where you can ask your pharmacist all about health and pharmacy. So guys, lately I've received so many messages and calls at pharmacy because people who use metformin have received a letter saying that they won't be able to get their diabetes medication metformin anymore because it's been recalled and most likely it contains a cancer causing agent. So that's a point of concern to too many people and that has also confused so many people because they're wondering that does metformin itself causes cancer and should they stop using all kinds of metformin even the ones in combination with other medications and a lot of people are so worried because they're thinking that now they're going to get cancer by using metformin they've lost trust in the companies like all confused and they're asking what to do next should they have their doctor change it to something else and what to do if they've already been using metformin how can they return the metformin are they going to get reimbursement if they have paid a lot of copay for the metformin or just paid cash price for metformin and the list of the questions just goes on and on and on and on so i've made this video just to talk about the metformin recall and answer all the questions in your mind that have gotten you worried and all confused about the metformin recall so let's begin first of all we need to understand what is a recall a recall is the most effective way to protect public when a product or medication is either defective or potentially harmful in united states we have fda which is food drug administration agency which is great because they regulate medications and other health products in the market to ensure they are safe for public use fda identifies a product for a possible recall really through the uh, adverse events reports that they get on their website or they've just conducted an evaluation or they've gotten some complaints that the medication or a product is potentially harmful or contains a potentially harmful full substance so after they get that data or information it takes into account a number of factors whether the labeling is not truthful or just like is misbranding the medication in that case they may order the manufacturer to initiate a recall this normally happens when the manufacturer has not already taken any action but a lot of companies are actually pretty good about their quality control. They have a quality assurance department that ensures the medication released in the market is safe to use. And if they find any health hazard in the medication, they will actually voluntarily recall the medication. Well, this is what happened in case of metformin, especially in case of Teva Pharmaceuticals, which is also branded as Actavis. They recalled metformin 500 milligrams and 750 milligrams on June 2nd, 2020. The company announced that they're voluntarily recalling 14 lots of metformin in United States due to detection of NDMA in these lots. Now this chemical NDMA is, is thought to be cancer causing agent. The company also said that the lot numbers being recalled are packaged under the Actavis Pharma and were distributed between January 8th and May 27th, 2020. So that means only these lot numbers are recalled and potentially contain cancer causing substance, but not all metformins contain the NDMA or not all metformins are potentially at the risk of having cancer causing agent. But let me make this very clear that metformin itself is not carcinogenic. It's just the plant where these lots were manufactured were somehow contaminated with this NDMA, which is cancer causing. Now, does all metformin for Teva or Actavis brand were recalled? No, per company, only certain lot numbers of the extended release 500 milligram and 750 milligram metformin were recalled. So if you're not taking these doses from this brand, then you're fine. You don't have to worry about anything. But if you were on these doses or you were taking metformin from other brands and you're not sure if whether the one which you have has been recalled or not, then there is a way to find out. Firstly, what you need to do is look at your medication bottle and see what brand it is. You can also simply check with your pharmacy if you have received the brand 
or the lot number which has been recalled because the pharmacies normally uh, will send you a letter or they will just call the customers who have uh, used that particular lot numbers or you can just simply call uh, or email the company like like for instance if you've got the Tiva brand then you can just simply call the Tiva brand and I'll put their contact information down here and I'll also put it in the description below so you can call or email them or simply fax them and find out if your medication was on the recall list and even if your medication is not on the recall list just keep in mind that you are eligible to get a full reimbursement from your pharmacy or the manufacturer but you have to keep in mind that recall is a safety measure if you have received the medication from these lot numbers or just the metformin and you're not sure that um, you know whether your medication is actually recalled or not then don't just panic thinking that you're going to get cancer or what's going to happen now well remember NDMA is naturally present in small amounts in water and some foods like cured and grilled meats uh, dairy products and some vegetables so we probably are already consuming it somehow but the acceptable intake limit is 96 nanograms per day and per FDA anything above that limit may increase the risk of cancer and of course I'm not saying that you continue taking your metformin because then that may put you at a risk of uh, going to the upper limit of the NDMA consumption and you don't want to do that okay so if you have metformin from those lot numbers just discontinue taking it you can return it to your pharmacy or simply contact the manufacturer and uh, they will tell you the procedure of how to return it and give you full reimbursement but meanwhile make sure you kind of monitor yourself and see if you experience something unusual if you experience any unusual signs or symptoms then do let your pharmacist or doctor know so they can report it to FDA or just the manufacturer about the potential side effect from the medication but if you're doing just fine and have no unusual signs or symptoms then don't be alarmed or don't panic because the bottom line is that the medication potentially contains a cancer causing agent and has a risk of cancer but is not essentially going to cause cancer so you don't have to lose your sleep over it most likely you're going to be okay have a peace of mind because FDA is actually doing more investigation and asking more companies to recall and many of the companies actually have voluntarily recall but like I said before if you think you've had any adverse reaction or any other quality problem with the use of metformin then do report to the company and FDA's MedWatch adverse reporting program you can actually report them online I'll also put the link to the FDA's website in the description where you can go and find out the complete list of the recalled uh, lot numbers not just metformin but many other medications all right guys so that was a quick review on the metformin's recall that's it for today's video i hope you're all safe and healthy thanks a lot for watching this video be sure to subscribe now so you don't miss any health and pharmacy videos i release i'll see you next time